Business as usual Saturday, a store manager says corporate tip top tucks didn't tip off staff. We had fittings come in that morning before the email was ever sent out that there might be some technical issues or things like that that we couldn't book, but we had no idea Saturday morning that this was going to happen. <laughs> the mother of two, concerned about angry customers knowing her name, also worries her family health care coverage will end in a month. And like Tux Renters, she's trying to find out what's next. Unfortunately, we've had information lockout on us too. And so even trying to access our HR and our even our own personal 401k accounts and our payroll is we haven't been able to access anything. Her have. last email from parent company Dapper and Dashing said she's laid off. Uh, this came in uh, yesterday at 2 a.m. News of the store closings didn't come until later in the day for a mother of the groom. I read the article that Channel 6 put out and it said that Gentleman's Choice was helping people out. Janiel Thompson needs 12 tuxes for an August 26th wedding. We'll make it work. Yeah, it's just those groomsmen that's got to get their measurements in. Gentleman's Choice has 2,500 coats in stock with adjustable pants to fit and suit up a wedding party on short notice. I'm doing a discount price depending on what they've chosen. So I am discounting my prices a bit because um, my heart just goes out to them. Some financial relief for groom Jesse Stewart, whose group paid tip top tucks $2,500. We don't know what else to do, so we seen the sign on the door and came here to see if we can get some help, scrambling at the last minute. Jesse's wedding is in 11 days, while Taylor Brunmeyer has until mid-October, but her groom's group already paid tip top tucks $2,800. We've heard from our friends and stuff that it has been on a credit card, so they've been able to talk to the credit card company. So we're just hoping, you know, it goes through and that they can get their money back. Many brides and grooms are asking if corporate dapper and dashing has dashed off with their money. The manager of this store near West Road says she's shocked by its closing because it had won awards that aren't just window dressing. These are a reflection on my whole team. Among the three plaques in two years as manager, she is most proud of highest number of tux orders out of 65 stores nationwide. It makes me even more confused on, on how six months later I'm sitting jobless and have zero information on why. On your side, Mike McKnight, 6 News.